So this is a weird kind of background guys. I do apologize um, if it's a little bit different from my usual videos. But I decided today to use my tripod and kind of stand up a bit to film. Um, so yeah. Hey everyone, it's Becky and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a just kind of like a huge haul. I have a lot of new releases coming up uh, for Sephora and like Ulta and like just the drugstore and everything in general. I yeah just, just been collecting for the past like three weeks and I haven't filmed so I do apologize for that so we're gonna get started because I have some really awesome things to share with you guys and I'm so excited please let me know if there's anything that you guys want me to try I will be doing a tutorial I believe tomorrow um, so I'll be using some of the products just like I did last time um, I do have some of them today and I will share them with you guys but I'm not like super happy with some of them so We'll see how that goes. So we're going to get started because I don't want to drag this video too long because it will be. So grab a snack, grab some tea or some coffee or some Starbucks or whatever and let's get started. We're going to start with some drugstore um, items that I have in here that I have here for you guys. I did receive a PR box from Pixie Beauty and they sent me some of their lip glosses and their cheek gel tints. Um, they're right here. I have not used these at all. I will not swatch none of these tints or lip glosses because I will be saving them for a giveaway. So sorry about that. But um, it's because I just don't use lip glosses as, at all or as much. And so I figured these will be kind of nice for you guys to try and then let me know how you guys like them. But these I'm excited to test out. These are the Sheer Gel um, Blushes. Um, cheeky stuff so I'm excited to test it out and it's like in a little squeezy tube now I'm kind of scared though because it's, it's really like gel like and I feel like it could get messy like real quick so like that's the consistency and let's see okay I, I, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be like super pigmented it's very watery and it disappeared <laughs> literally I, I don't know how these function. Um, I have to look online and see how she recommends to use these products, but this one's pretty pigment, I mean pretty pink and there's it's gone. So on to some new products that are in the drugstore. I believe you can find these at Ulta or an Essence website. Um, these are correctors by Essence. Oh, I'm gonna drop this. This is the yeah, just color correcting sticks, and they send me other colors that they have. They have some this I don't know but there's like the pink character yellow purple green they're all supposed to do something specific I love color correcting but I'm never really good or have tried it and it's like amazing um, but I'll give it a, I'll give them a try I'm really intrigued with this one it's like the peachy one and it's usually under the eyes um, to correct any darkness so I'm excited for this one and then obviously you have like your rainbow stuff so I'll of course try them out and see what's good with them um, because Essence is a pretty inexpensive brand, so yeah. Next thing I have this huge palette right here, which I'm so excited to try. This is a pressed pigment palette by I cannot say, but you can get them at a Hush. I believe it's Hush.com. I'll have them, of course, linked down below um, the website and everything. By the way, these are all very affordable products, and I'll show. Um, I have another palette over there. It looks like this, but I have this little like sheet. I haven't used it at all. There you go. And that's just what it looks like. So pretty. Um, let's swatch some of these. Oh, guys, they're so pigmented. I swatched them in my arm. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like the worst swatches. But they're right there. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me move. Ugh. I don't know. I'm ruining everything. They're like really pigmented. They left a stain in my finger. But they're really pigmented and they swatch really nicely. So I am high, high hopes for them on the eyes. Um, I will definitely swatch these and like make maybe create a look with them. Oh, so pretty. Look at that burgundy one. So pretty. The second palette is right here and this is Irresistible uh, by Beauty Creations. And it looks like this. And it's so pretty. Look at how pretty this is. This is like everyday kind of looks. I don't want to swatch them anymore. My fingers are stained. But this is really, really pretty. I have a mascara. Um, by Rude Cosmetics, so it's a mascara, looks like that, I love me mascara, so super excited, it has a really, really chubby brush, but we'll see, 
And then I also got some nail polishes and these look so pretty. Like if this is like the color of the nail polish, I'm gonna die. I haven't used these at all, so I don't know. But yeah, they're like metallic-y nail polish, so I'm so excited because this is gonna look so pretty. Um, these are by Santi Mirror Effects Nail Polishes. So I have three colors here, a purpley one, rose gold, and a gold color. And I guess I got it from the same website, so I'll link them down below. But these are so pretty. The next product that I have here, more like a beauty skincare kind of stuff than uh, makeup. But this is by Gillette the Venus. Um, this is a shower gel, um, moisturizing shading cream <laughs> thingamajiggy that I'm so excited to try. Um, yeah, I shave my legs, shave my armpits, shave all kinds of areas. And I just realized that this helps so much when you shave because you don't want to get that like, oh my god, this smells so good. You don't want to get like that burn, the razor burn that is so ugly. But anyways, yeah, I have these two to try. One is vanilla and the other one is in purple. I have no idea. But yeah, so these are from Gillette. And then I also have two of the Gillette razors, which I usually use these anyways in like my everyday everyday basics this is the racers that I use um, I used to use there was another a guy racer don't use guy racers in the worst but yeah these are the ones that I use in general but yeah these are the comfort glide and this is a swirl I think these are new um, which I believe that's why they send it to me I'm not sure I use there's another I, I, there's so many types of racers out there but I do use the ones from Gillette I just can't remember which one is the one that I like usually use what style I, I don't know but I'll be using these ones testing them out and I'll let you guys know if I like them or not also from the drugstore this is from Maybelline and let me take the tape off um, but this is one of their new palettes this is the city mini palette and it comes like this it is really tiny but they're all matte I believe yeah this is the matte about town um, palette and it looks really really pretty I absolutely love this if you guys want me to do a back a um, drugstore tutorial let me know I would love to try this actually in a video see what's good let's swatch some of them if, ooh, they feel really smooth okay so they're pretty pretty I swatched them right there they're pretty light but they're um, they did swatch nicely uh, the colors that I, I probably picked like the worst colors but some of the light colors obviously don't show up on me because I'm pretty tanned but the darker one looks really good and it, they're really really soft what I think that's going to happen with these is when you start blending, there might be going to need a few more blending strokes to get that color out there. But they look pretty good for drugstore. I mean, you know. Moving on to some lipsticks. These are some swimmable longwear liquid lipsticks. They are swimmable, so you should be able to swim, drink, eat, do everything with these lipsticks. And they're not supposed to fall out um so this is what the colors look like and i do apologize i'm not going to swatch them because i don't have makeup wipes and yeah so i have to use water and they're waterproof so that's not going to be really fun to take off so these are the colors and of course i will do um i'll probably swatch them and share them on my instagram so be sure to follow me there but um yeah these are so pretty especially this one this is like becky color right here this is the perfect becky color so i'm so excited this is more of a Christmas color, yeah, and this is more I'm gonna go to downtown and party color, yeah, this is, yeah, but th these are not the names by the way, but that's just what I'm gonna name them. You have Newport, Portofino, and then this one is in Brighton, oh, I love Brighton, yeah. The next thing I want to share with you guys is this perfume, actually I've been testing this one out for a few weeks now. But yeah, I know. I couldn't wait. I love me some perfumes. This is by Mew Mew. Is that how you say it? Yeah. But look at this bottle. It's so cute. I love this. This sits right on top of my vanity usually just because it's like summertime and this reminds me of like summer. Like literally so pretty. But yeah, it's just by Mew Mew. Um, you can find it at Sephora, Nordstrom, wherever they sell perfumes. This is going to be there. But it smells like a citrusy, beachy perfume. That's what it reminds me of. It's really weird, I know. But... I just tend to kind of um, match perfumes with like an area, I know. But so this reminds me of like a nice summery time. Ugh, like this smells so good. I love it. So I use this almost every day now for the past week or so and I really can't say anything but good things about it. It does linger. So by the end of the day, someone's going to tell you, oh my god, your perfume, you smell so good. And you're going to be like, ah, thank you. But yeah, seriously, it will linger. 
on you. So highly, highly recommend it if you guys want to check it out. But I'm going to put it back in the box. So we are going to have two new products to share with you guys by Lancome that I received. Um, this is the matte shakers by Lancome. I believe these are more newer. They've had the shakers for a while, but they were more of a stain or creamy consistency. I don't know. They were just not matte. And then I saw they had the matte ones. So these are the colors that I have. Let me share with you guys. And I actually have one on my lips today. It's this one and it's this color. This one. The Becky color. This one is in Energy Peach. Looks like that. It's so pretty. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I It is a matte lipstick, but it's not like your average lipstick. It's more like a stain. And it looks very natural. It looks almost like it's meant to be like your lips. Um, but better kind of situation. Um, so you're supposed to shake it. And this one doesn't shake. Oh, maybe this one doesn't work. Uh, and it's supposed to have like a shaker effect. Like, sounds like you're preparing a drink. <laughs> but they look really, really cute. I have them right here. So I'll be testing them out. This is by far my favorite shade of them all. This is a little bit too bright on me. And this one's a little bit too, too dark. Um, once I put it on my lips. And let me swatch it so you can see. They look really creamy. And look at the tip. It looks so cute. So that's like this one. Look at how pretty is this. It looks so pretty though. And then this one's the orangey one. The orangey one is definitely more watery. But on my lips when I tried it on or when I swatched it, it was looking really, really like weird. Um, I don't know why. But uh, maybe it's just, maybe I need to shake it more. But anyways, this is the one that I have on. I don't even know why I swatched it. <laughs> this one is my favorite by the way. This is in Energy Peach, right? Yeah, this one. My favorite color of them all. Um, but I'll keep on testing them out. Yeah, I think the shaker doesn't work for this one. That's why swatching is so weird. And the next product that I got from them was this translucent powder. This is the, yeah, this is Silky Loose Powder by um, Lancome. I got the wrong shade though. This is 300. It is a little bit too tan on me. Actually, that's what I have on that I set my foundation. And it looks, the powder itself looks amazing. The color a little bit off on me so I don't know how I'm gonna have to use this powder but it does leave a very nice airbrush look on my skin which I like um, so I, I am like loving this powder and highly recommending it if you guys have tried it let me know but the color is just a little off so I'm gonna see if I can contact Lancome see if I can get another shade because I really want to use this as my everyday powder because I really really liked the look today and I had this makeup really early on it's already like two o'clock so it's still looking nice and it doesn't like feel cakey it isn't like I don't know I just really really like the powder as of today so we'll see how this goes guys one of the one of the products that I'm so excited to try this is the Dior Air Flash foundation I will be doing a review most likely like a first impression of it because this thing is so expensive and I've been eyeing it for years now I heard so many beauty, beauty gurus here on YouTube mention it and talk about it and I was always very intrigued and so I finally got one and I'm so excited and I'm hoping that it matches me. What color did I pick? I don't even know. 400. And then I'm hoping that it's like as, as amazing as everybody raves about. So we'll see what's good with this product. Let me know if you guys have tried and how much you guys love it or hate it. But yeah, you're supposed to shake it and then like spray, literally like a spring cat, like literally. But yeah, so excited for this one. And I have one more product from Dior. And this I've already, this is something that I have tried and I love. And this knits their um, Illuminizers um, shimmering highlight situations. I don't have it today, sadly. But um, it's in the color 003. And it's a little bit more of like a champagne goldy color. I actually have, I actually have this 001 which I bought myself and it was it's they're kind of expensive but I do really love it like this is really it's legit it's a really beautiful highlight so I don't know if you guys can see the difference you can't really this is more definitely more goldy this is definitely more pinkish but this looks really natural on me like literally looks like natural glow so I'm excited to see how this one will look on my skin um, if you guys are wondering what's on my face today it's actually a Becca product but anyways, moving on to a contour palette and not the KKW palette. I actually want to try that one, but I don't know if I want to pay that price. But moving on, I got this Kevin Aquan palette. I actually been loving Kevin Aquan's makeup. But um, yeah, they send me their 
palette and look at how pretty it is. And it's a contour palette, of course. You do have some eyeshadows down in the bottom, so this is definitely a like travel friendly palette because you kind of have everything. You could do an eye look, you could do your contour, and you could just go out and you're ready to go. So you have some eyeshadows, some kind of highlights on the corner, um, another highlight over here. You have some of the cream contours and the powder contours, except that this is more like a highlighty shade and this is more of a matte um, powder. Um, I'm hoping this color or this contour shade fits me just because I'm so particular with my contour. Uh, this is just as volume 2 but I don't know if they have different colors of them. I don't see like light to medium or whatever so I also like that in here it has a little card of how to use it so if you wondering where to put the colors they tell you exactly where but anyways this palette looks great and I can't wait to test this out and start playing with it I got a package in the mail I believe like a few days ago and this is by Glam Glow I love me some Glam Glow I've been testing some of their masks out and they are really they have been really amazing but this month they did send me the overnight tr transforming treatment is there two of them? There's two of them, so most likely I would, I'm just gonna keep one for a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. I have a ton of makeup to give away uh, um, for you guys. But anyways, um, yeah, this is just the Glam Glow Overnight Treatment, and you're supposed to put it on overnight, and you're supposed to wake up feeling bomb. So anyways, yeah. So this is what the box looks like, and it's so pretty. I haven't even opened it up. Let's let's see what the packaging looks like. I love their packaging. It's always like so different than the regular packaging, but it looks like this. Ooh, look at how cool this looks. All silvery and stuff. So, so excited to test that out. Let's move on to this next palette or package, I should say. Um, I was so excited to receive this in the mail, but it was unexpected. If you guys follow me on my Instagram or Snapchat, then you guys already saw it. But it looks like this, and it's the Laura Geller pa um, package. They did send me a few products to test out. So thank you from Laura Geller. It was really, I mean, I was not expecting them, so I was so excited. But anyways, I received two of their newer palettes. This is their iconic New York City collection. And this is a cool tone and more of a warm tone, I think, uh, palette. Let me open them up to share with you guys. So this is what the palettes look like. Like, crazy pretty. Um, I love me this one. I love the colors. I think this is such a beautiful palette. Honestly, these are the Becky colors. This is probably something that I already own in my collection, like this kind of color range. I have not tested out these eyeshadows, so I'm excited for that. Actually, let me swatch some of these. My swatches are not the best because my fingers are already really dirty and I didn't want to dig in. But the shimmery ones look awesome. The matte ones, I didn't press as hard, so I don't know. But I still got some pretty good swatches right there. But um, yeah, these are definitely the Becky colors. Like, I live for these shades. All I use, and then this one looks more of a like nighttime color range. It looks so pretty, um, especially these ones right here, more of the natural shades. Um, this purple one looks crazy though. Like, look at how pretty it looks. Straight up lilac, and it looks so nice. So I can't wait to test these out um, and share my thoughts with you guys. And the last two products that I have in here are actually um, eyeliners. Um, yes, yeah, a full size eyeliner collection. It has a liquid, a pencil, and more like a bigger, chubbier eyeliner, if that makes any sense. And both of these have the same thing, but just different colors. You have a black one and a brown one, I believe. Yeah, like a brownish color. Um, I think this is a good deal. They left the price tag or what they're going to be retailing for, and these are $25 each. Which is pretty good because you are getting a liquid eyeliner and also a pencil and then you get that chubby one as well. I won't be swatching, oh not this one, maybe the black ones I will, I'll keep those right there. The actually the liquid eyeliner is pretty good and this is just the pencil one. So I cannot wait to test these out and of course I'll give you guys my full thoughts as soon as I start playing with this product. So let's move on to the next package. So I did receive my Makeup Forever uh, package this month and this month was off the chain. I mean every month is always off the chain but this one is right up my alley. So let's open it up. So this is what the package looks like. They are sending me basically some blushes. So the top row up here are highlights, 
the middle row, row is more like a contour and bronzer stuff and then the ones on the bottom are blushes I believe um, and then under this thing under this like kind of row of stuff they send me their actually their palettes but these are all empty except for this one which is the one by Jessie J and it's by far my favorite one by the way and let me show you because it's so pretty that's her palette right there it's so stunning so pretty so pretty love this color this reminds me a lot of orgasm the blush by NARS um, but yeah so let's swatch some of these oh man I have no space to swatch I swatched them on the side. Terrible swatches. But you can, the highlight is actually pretty popping. And the blush as well and the um, bronzer looks stunning as well. These are super silky. I have actually not tested these out at all. They're a brand new package. I haven't gotten my hands in there and playing with these um, products. But they look and they sound amazing what I've seen. So yeah, you get some empty tins and you get to create whatever palette you want which is actually kind of a neat idea and they do um, kind of share instructions like okay you got one single palette and you can pick whatever color you want and then you have the duo and then you have the trio which range from 25 35 and 45 dollars um, for some Make It Forever uh, palettes and you do get a lot of the products so it's not cheap but it's also very good quality and very good amount of product that you're getting in here so it's hot in here so let's move on to my last two which are like the best ones. I was so excited to get this in the mail because I didn't know they were going to send me one and I did receive the Urban Decay new palette. Their new like kind of like nudie palette they have and it's the Heat palette. Look, my palette kind of came destroyed. Probably, I'm telling you, my mailman hates me. But anyways, this is the, oops, this is the Urban Decay box and then you can slide it out and that's what the palette looks like. And it's so pretty. I'm pretty sure everybody has seen him on Instagram or on Snapchat or whatever. Um, everybody got one and I didn't. And I, I was going to plan on buying this. But I'm really, I'm really lucky that I get to test this out. Um, basically, they're all Becky shades. Yeah, like they're all Becky shades. Basically, every single thing in here looks beautiful. Definitely will try. Except maybe for this purple one I am not into purples I know it's weird but yeah I love everything in here looks awesome I do notice that they look kind of similar but I'm I think it's just the um, the color range you know they're picking very warm very orangey burned orange colors in their collection so you can kind of see they look similar but they, they actually are not that I've noticed but yeah, like some of these over here look very similar. This one looks very similar to that one. But they're just like an off shade. I'm, I'm gonna swatch some of these. Okay, so the pigmentation on these things are like insane. So I, there you go, my hand. Um, yeah, they look amazing. So I am obsessed. Um, I did use, I believe, some of these the other day just to play around. Um, and they were pretty pigmented and really darker than what I expected it, which is not a good thing sometimes, but it worked out for the best. And I love Urban Decay eyeshadows. They are never, never, never have failed me. They've always, their formula is always amazing. But anyways, and they did send three of their regular shades in here. Regular shades. Some of their newer shades as well with a kind of... I don't know what do you call this like metallic -y, orange burned orange color <laughs> it's not awful but they look really cool this one is in the shade heat and they're um this is actually in a metallic shade this is more of a cream shade this is my favorite shade this is in fuel and then the last one is also a met met metalized shade is how you say and it is in this beautiful beautiful color right there I won't swatch this one's actually because I'm planning to give them out except this one I'm keeping this one but the other ones I'm gonna give away because I just don't use as much lipstick especially when they have any like kind of that finished metal finish so I'll save them for you guys so you guys can try them let's move on to the last package and it's the biggest package so I've gotta get some strength to pick it up sorry I'm giving you my bag but Too Faced was crazy enough to send me their new glitter collection and this box Ugh. You guys follow me on Snapchat or 
my Instagram that you guys already saw it because I used the story thing on Instagram. So crazy. I started using it lately, but I did get this humongous, like, humongous package. So let me show you the package and then we'll get to talking about it. This is the huge package that Too Faced sent. And I cannot believe I got these beautiful skates. Look at how beautiful these are. I'm so obsessed. I so thankful for those and then these are all the lipsticks that they send which I will be doing a swatch video for you guys and then that's the glitter palette and I did get a mascara and a glitter primer so that big package I received the other day and I was like kind of I was so surprised I didn't know they were sending me that so I was super excited and you guys can hear it in my story on Instagram if you guys did see it I was like ah dying but anyways this is the glitter palette right here and this is the eyeshadows um, that you're gonna receive I'm not a I'm not a glitter person, but I will say that these bottom ones, the rose all day, work it or oh it's oh it's on, look absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait to try them. The ones on the top are more like fairy colors, like to me, and this one is called Fairy Dust Confetti Hot Damn Glitter Um Glitter Gold and Splash. If you I'm actually planning on doing a swatch video on these, like on my eyes, to see how I like it. So if you guys do want that. Let me know and definitely like these ones on the top like look a lot more glittery the ones on the bottom so those are the top colors let me swatch some of the bottom ones oh man bros all day doesn't look as pretty swatched they're right there in the corner of you guys can see my camera doesn't want to focus on my hand but yeah it looks they look okay we'll see how they look in my eyes i mean they look awesome but i mean we'll see how they look in the eye so you also get an intensifier base and then you get a brightening base on the sides which I don't know how to use this. This is completely black and it's completely white so we'll see how I manage to use these shades. Um, the other thing that I'm really very very excited are for these lipsticks. I love lipsticks. And these are the latex lipsticks which are kind of like a new formula. They're very, um, they're kind of like a... A mixture of a cream lipstick and a, a, a lip gloss kind of situation because it's right there look at the swatch but look at how crazy that looks I don't know I'm so shocked by these and these are pretty pigmented um, so I will be doing swatches for this a lot of you guys asked me regarding the shape of skates they're not my size so I can use these I believe they're size like what eight or something they're size seven and I'm a size six or six and a half I can probably use these if I wear like really really thick socks so I don't know if I want to use them but they're so pretty but anyways that was it for the whole haul thanks again for those who stuck to the end to see this awesome awesome box um and that's it so that was it thanks so much for watching make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you guys in my next one bye